this video will show you how to load 16 bit uh, uh, pvl.nc file that uh, we saved in the one of the importer videos where we handled 16 bit data and uh, saved it as a 16 bit uh, pvl.nc file and uh, we created this pvl.nc file here test16.pvl.nc and the data is saved as unsigned short in this pvl.nc.001 uh, file so let's drag and drop this file here so i'm dragging and dropping dropping the pvl.nc file test16.pvl.nc so this is the data and this is the histogram now because the data is 16 bit we are restricted to using only one dimensional transfer functions and uh, we are given access to the histogram of the data so this is the histogram so let's press f2 so press f2 to go into the high res mode so this is this is the data i am taking this transfer function widget out here yeah, and then just blowing it up so here we have now when you press h h for home uh, as in the Drishti importer, your um, min and max values will be uh, fitted into the uh, uh, the histogram will be fit such that the min and max values are seen in the window and then you can drag the um, the histogram around using mouse wheel you can increase the uh, size of the the horizontal size of the extent of the histogram and then using left mouse button you can drag it around or you can also use left uh, arrow key and right arrow key to change the um, the horizontal extent or horizontal magnification of the histogram now what we would like to do is I'm using mouse wheel to reduce the size of the um, horizontal extent. Now I'll change the min and max extents here and then press H again change your min and max so that you can see your data here. using your left mouse button you can drag around this uh, widget here and similarly using left mouse button you can move these these markers and again using left mouse button you can move the histogram let us create a transfer function here another one I'm pressing H so that I get the I get to see the extents of the transfer function and then I can move the widget around and let me just expand this histogram now because uh, we are using one dimensional transfer functions uh, I'm not using any gradient information um, uh, in the in the transfer function so uh, this is purely voxel value based uh, rendering that we are doing here so we lose the advantage of uh, using the multi multi-dimensional transfer function when we load 16-bit uh, uh, volumes um, it's just that um, the way transfer functions are implemented in drishti uh, they are implemented using what is called as lookup table so it's just a uh, two-dimensional texture that I load and then I use uh, volume uh, voxel uh, 
uh, value and uh, gradient magnitude at every voxel and then just look use those two values as a look up into that two dimensional uh, texture uh, to get the color and opacity in the case of 16 bit uh, data set the the texture size would be very big in case of 8 bit data set the texture size is 255 by 255 uh, on either side but in case of 16-bit uh, data, uh, one dimension of that uh, lookup table texture would be 65535, so 64K on one side. And then the gradient magnitude, if we fit the gradient magnitude as, again, say 16-bit, then it would be a 64K by 64K texture, uh, which would be really very big. Uh, another option is to reduce the uh, the number of um, say bits allocated to the gradient magnitude so instead of allocating say 16 bit uh, uh, for the gradient magnitude we can allocate say for example 8 bits in that case the the texture size uh, texture size would be say 64k on one side that is the voxel value side or the horizontal uh, dimension of the of the texture and the vertical dimension which represents the gradient magnitude that would be 8 bit meaning it would be uh, say uh, 255 uh, on the horizontal axis so uh, the texture size would be 64k by 255 still it's a really large texture uh, for um, um, and that's just a single texture and if you want to accommodate say for uh, mm, uh, 8 textures or 16 textures then the the amount of texture memory allocated just for the lookup table becomes very large so at least in this version i have not uh, implemented the lookup table way of uh, rendering uh, two dimensional lookup table for rendering 16 uh, bit data sets but in future it's possible that i might revert i might use uh, some other technique for um, uh, rendering 16 bit data i mean um, rendering i mean using the transfer functions for the 16 bit data maybe a gaussian or something but at least in this version it is um, you know, we are restricted to uh, using only uh, one dimensional uh, transfer functions for 16 bit data in case of uh, 8 bit data still the 2d lookup table is is uh, can be used so here we have now the different transfer functions and using left mouse button I am moving the the transfer function and then using left arrow key or you can use wheel to change the size of the horizontal extent of the of the transfer function of the histogram sorry so this is how we would render a 16 bit data set uh, in in drishti now let's take an example where um, we have uh, say 8 bit data set saved as 16 bits in that case let me just load uh, uh, that data to show you how a an 8-bit data saved as 16-bit looks like in the histogram so this is a tooth data set um, that I will load so this is 16-bit tooth data set and then you will see the histogram so I am pressing H again and this is your histogram this is your normal tooth data set which is originally 8-bit data set but I have saved it as 16-bit and if we zoom in so let me just reduce those extents if we zoom in then we can see these individual peaks in the in the data so this is how it will look press H again so these are the individual peaks that we see in the 8-bit data
this F2 and then I am using mouse wheel to change the horizontal extent but if you don't have mouse wheel you can use uh, left and right arrow keys on the keyboard so now we can see these individual values individual um, yeah individual voxel values in the in the data and because the original data is 8 bit we see these gaps uh, in the voxel values uh, in the histogram of the voxel values and now if we load say 8 bit data for the tooth you will see the difference in the in the histogram so d 1d and you can see these these peaks here this is now 8 bit data set So this is the way you can handle 16-bit data in in Drishti. Uh, most of the CT data sets you probably may not need to load uh, data as 16-bit. Uh, because it is easy to manipulate or um, easy to remap your um, data from say 16 or 32 bit to 8 bit and still maintain uh, the contrast that you need especially because you are looking at a big range of values uh, as a single phase uh, now this is pretty useful if you have a simulation and you are really interested in very um, fine or very close or narrow range of values uh, or multiple narrow range of values then probably 16 bit is is much more useful otherwise 8 bit is mostly um, uh, it would do the work for you